Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to What Shall We Do Next? I'm Mike, your host. No wait, I'm Jonathan, I keep forgetting. <laughs> but I hope you guys are having the best day ever. What's going on you guys? Welcome back and before we get started, please subscribe if you are new here with the notification bell on. We're on the road to 157,000 subscribers and I would love you to join me on this journey. So hit subscribe and join the fam. But what's going on guys? Welcome back to another spooky video and today we're going to be doing another scary story and this one is called The Writing on the Wall. Now, I think I've read this one before a long, long time ago, but I, if I remember correctly, it's actually a very good story. So, The Writing on the Wall is a scary tale from, a Japan, from Japan about two young boys who explore a creepy old building. But enough of the jibber-jabber, let's jump right over to the story. The Writing on the Wall When I was younger, there was a ruined building at the bottom of our street. All of the kids in the area kept well away from it, because the rumor was that it was haunted. The concrete walls of the old two-story building were cracked and crumbling. The windows were broken and shards of glass lay all over the floor inside. One evening, as a test of courage, my best friend and I decided to explore the creepy old place. We climbed in through a window at the back of the building. The whole place was dirty, and there was a layer of mud on the wooden floor. As we dusted off ourselves, we looked up and were shocked to see that someone had written the words, I am dead, on the wall near the ceiling. Probably just some teenagers trying to scare kids, I said. Yeah, probably, replied my friend nervously. We explored more of the rooms on the ground floor. In a room that appeared to have once been a kitchen of sorts, we found more writing on the wall. It read, I am in a room upstairs. We walked up the creaking stairs to the second floor. I led the way and my friend followed close behind. I wasn't scared, but he was beginning to get a little jittery. When we came to the top of the stairs, we turned left and walked cautiously down the narrow hallway. At the end of the hallway was a closed door with some more ominous writing on it. You will find me in this room. By now, my friend was shaking with fear. I was quite creeped out too but I didn't want to show it. He told me he didn't want to go any further, but I insisted, telling him there was nothing to be afraid of. I turned the handle and the door creaked open. We stepped inside the room and found it empty. There were two closed doors on either side. There was more creepy writing on the wall. It read, My head is on the left and my body is on the right. As soon as my friend saw this, he completely lost his nerve. He gave a yelp and turned around to run away. I caught a hold of his arm, but he shook me off and fled through the open door. I heard his footsteps disappearing off down the hallway. I held my ground. I was determined to be brave and overcome my fear. Mustering all my courage, I opened the door on the right and walked inside. I walked to the other side of the room, and on the wall, written in tiny letters, were the words, My body is underneath. I looked down at the floor. I was standing on some more writing on the floorboards. I stepped back and saw the words, My head is coming from the room behind you. Turn around. I heard the door behind me creaking, and I quickly turned around. There was a shadow moving behind the door. Suddenly, something rolled into the room and came to a rest against the wall. It was my friend's severed head. His dead, sightless eyes seemed to stare at me. Screaming in horror, I flung myself out through the open window and fell two stories to the ground. I landed on my side, breaking my arm. 
In horrible pain, I ran home crying and yelling for my parents. The police were called and they searched the old ruined building. At first, they didn't find anything. There wasn't even any writing on the wall. They combed the house from top to bottom, but didn't find any traces of my friend. Then, they pried up the floorboards. His body was lying underneath, but they never found his head. And that is the end of that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the story. Personally, I have read this one before. I do remember the head rolling and stuff like that. And I thought it was a good story back then. I still think it's a good story now. It's creepy. Like, what, what happened to the writing on the wall? Did somebody come in and quickly wipe it off? Whoever it was that cut his friend's head off? Or were they just hallucinating the entire thing and the thing that did this? was just some demon, like this place was cursed or something. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think, and also guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a big fat juicy like on it. Guys, remember, likes really help on my videos a lot, so I would really appreciate it if you could do that for me. And guys, also let me know in the comment section if you're a proud member of the What Shall We Do Next to Can Army, and remember the most important thing of all, chase your dreams, keep on fighting, and I'll see you back here in the next video. Peace out, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoy my videos and you would like to support me and my channel more and also be featured in my videos, go check out my Patreon. Link is in the description. I would really appreciate any help you guys have to offer. As you can see, we have different tiers, different rewards. So go over there, check it out. And uh, I would really appreciate that. Every little helps. Thank you so much. And also guys, don't forget to subscribe with the notification bell on and also follow me on all my social media. I have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even Snapchat. So go follow Follow me on all of those and remember the most important thing, I love you guys and chase your dreams.